All right, guys, we are back with some more Monster Energy Supercross 5. Today, we have the second Legends Pack DLC to check out. This pack, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if it's as good as the first pack, but it's still good. Um, we got this 1974 Daytona track. Um, it, I don't know how accurate it is. Pretty, probably pretty accurate, but um, it says inspired by, so it might be a bit different. And we got four, I believe, four different legends to check out. Um, this time a bit more contemporary, uh, for the most part, but um, still good, still good. And as far as I can tell, the bike sounds are uh, correct. So um, let's jump into it and check out the legends in the pack. Like I said, we have four different legends to check out in this pack. We have Dungey and Villapoto and Sealy and Emig. And, you know, Villapoto, Sealy, pretty good. Dungey, his graphics kit is so weird. It's his coffee company. And, I don't know, it's just, it's really weird. Really weird. Okay, so we're going to take a lap around 1974 Daytona using each legend, and we're going to use Dungey first, and I kind of want to talk about his bike before we talk about the track, because I do have uh, a few things to say about the track, but his bike, I suppose they couldn't use, you know, Red Bull KTM, but it's so weird because um, the bike has his coffee company on it and his RD logo um, it's really weird I, you know it just I guess they did what they could um, you know for whatever but I mean his gear is like the same gear we had in what game um, Supercross 1 so I mean it's virtually the same thing as we had in that game and I'm a big fan of Dungey so this is cool but I feel like we could have got, you know, went back a bit further. Um, and then we switch over to Villapoto here. Uh, Villapoto looks good. Um, it's weird that Villapoto gets the number one, but n not Dungey. Um, it it's just really weird. I don't know why he's not number two. I believe he was two. Um, so that's kind of weird. I mean, I'm fine with it, but, you know, whatever. Um, the track, this track is so weird. It's cool but it's kind of boring, okay? I'm not gonna lie, they, they probably did a great job and this track, this race, this everything might be super legendary, but I mean, the track was made in 1974, so we're talking about bikes that had the dual shocks and, you know, front travel of like two inches, you know, spindly little wimpy forks and you know, everybody lands rear wheel high, and so the track, I mean, yeah, but in the video game, it's kind of boring. It's just a bunch of S-turns and straightaways, and they, I mean, I don't even know how many of these jumps are the right way. They probably are scaled up for some fun on the track, otherwise the track would be so boring, and the track is weird. There's a spot, I'm going to point it out, there's a spot where it's like muddy, okay, right here, it's like no traction whatsoever, and you just kind of slide, and it isn't muddy, it's dry, so that's something weird with how they made the track, I, I don't understand what's going on, why, why it is that way, um, is it a big deal, not really, but it was just so weird, you know, you, you, you come into it, and it feels kind of broken just a little bit but whatever reason Jeff here Jeff Emig and this this one's pretty cool I'm glad they got the bike sounds right but his graphics kit just it's kind of the same thing as Dungey it, it feels weird and I wish they could have done something different with him but it's still really cool and you know whatever and Sealy I have nothing against Cole Sealy you know great rider and he's been in past supercross games but i don't know i just i just feel like again nothing against cole Seely, but one we've had him in the game before um past games same with dungy 
and I feel like they could have went back farther. You know, whatever. I, it, it isn't really that big of a deal. It isn't that big of a deal, but it is 10 bucks. okay? It is the same price as the last one was, and I feel like the last one was better. Uh, Pontiac was a bit better. It was kind of boring too, but I still had fun with that track, and the, the legends in the pack were better. Also, they did say we were supposed to get five. I was reading it um, pre-release of the game. We were supposed to get five, and we only got four, so I'm not really sure what happened there. I, I guess it's not that big a deal, but but yeah, we only got four. And then we switch over to a race with Villa Poto on it because the track, it, it, it's the same, but we see the start, the lighting is a bit different. I felt like I'm playing on Xbox, so the frame rate just isn't isn't the same as it is on PC. If you had a Series X or, or a PS5, it probably would be better, but um, like the way the jersey is flapping around is really weird on console It just feels like glitchy almost and you know, whatever, but I don't know the track the pack the riders are good uh, Minus like Dungy's graphics kit is so weird to me and the track it probably is great It's just kind of boring and I already said I get that. It's 1974 It's not gonna have a bunch of jumps, but why don't you give us a throwback and give us a 1974 bike? You know Give us the dual shocks, man. Give us a Honda 360 muggin or something, you know? Um, or a, a, a Boltaco or a Mako or whatever. Yeah, I know some of those old bikes, guys. I do. My dad rode. My dad has a 19... I'm not sure what it is, but it's a Honda Elsnor. And it is sick. Sick. It doesn't even have a muffler on it or a silencer on it. It has a spark arrestor. The thing is loud. Whoa. But, uh, yeah, give us something like that. Maybe that would have been more fun on this kind of track. But riding this track with basically contemporary bikes is kind of boring. It's just kind of boring. Um, if you disagree, that's fine. I'm not saying it's not good. I'm not saying they didn't do a great job on it and do a good job with the riders for the most part and make the track fairly true to the way it should have been. I don't know. I didn't look it up. So I'm not a walking Supercross encyclopedia, but... I just assume they did pretty good and it maybe added, you know, made the jumps a bit bigger for more fun in the game. But, I mean, it's just a bunch of S turns. And so, in the game, that's something I don't like to do. I don't know. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really disappointed, but I feel like the first one was so much better than this one was. But it's still good. And if you bought the season pass, you know, you get it. You get it anyway. So, um, if you didn't. Is it worth $10? It depends. How bad do you want to ride with uh, Dungy or Villapoto or Sealy or Emeg or whatever? It's kind of dependent upon that because I don't feel like the track is that great. But but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'd be really curious to see if you played it. What do you think about it? Is it worth it? Do you disagree with me and feel like this is the best track ever made? You know whatever but you guys and girls are absolutely amazing thank you so much for the support on the channel lately it really does mean a lot and until the next video take it easy